So super fast and simple look today guys. We're going to start out by pressing this e.l.f. illuminating primer into our pores. And then for foundation I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me and this is the dewy formula. And I'm applying it with this Real Techniques sponge on my face, ears, neck. And it does look a little dark for me initially but I did self tan right before I filmed this. And so by the end of the video you'll see that it actually blends really well. As always, I'm going to conceal my dark circles and highlight with a concealer. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin, which is one of my favorites. And then if you're oily like me, you always want to set your face with a powder. If you apply liquid products, that will help it last all day and keep you from getting too shiny. And then for a bit of a contour and for my bronzer, I'm using this e.l.f. Warm Bronzer. And this is the same e.l.f. stippling brush that I use to apply that powder. And then I'll be using this really bright Milani Rose Blush. And because it's so bright and pigmented, I want to use a brush that has very sparse bristles like this one from Crown. And that's going to keep me from putting too much color on my cheeks. And then for my highlight, I'm using this one from e.l.f. And they call it a blush, but it's a highlighter. It's like a white gold highlighter. This is an Eco Tools fan brush. I'm just going to use that to uh, highlight my cheekbones. Then to contour my nose, I'm using this e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. It's just a better color for me. And then put a little bit of highlight down the center of my nose as well. And this is the only non-drugstore product I'm using today. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but NYX has a dupe for this and it's like half the price. So don't spend the money on this if you don't want to. And then to darken my brows just a little bit, I'm using this NYX Brow Mascara in the color Brunette. And then for my eye primer today, I'm using this e.l.f. Shadow Lock. And then once you apply it with a little Dofa applicator, you'll want to blend it in either with like your finger or a brush just to make sure your eyeshadow isn't going to be patchy. And then I'm taking this Wet n Wild palette and I'm using this base color. And I'm going to dust this all over my lid and my crease. And it's basically going to allow the other colors on top of it to blend better. Then I'm using this brow bone shade on this flat Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and my inner eye area. Not going to put too much on my brow bone though because I feel like this color is a little silvery. And then I'm going to use the crease color and you can see they're all labeled which is pretty cool especially if you're a beginner. And this is just a little teeny tiny Morphe brush. I'm going to run the color just back and forth in the outer crease and then go back in with a fluffier brush and help blend it out with some of that base color. And then I'm doing a winged liner. I feel like this is the star of the show today. This liner is from Wet n Wild and I'm in love with it. The brush is just perfect for creating a wing and the liner formula is so opaque. Then of course I'll be applying mascara as always and this is one of my favorite drugstore formulas, the L'Oreal Butterfly. And I'm just gonna put two coats on my upper and lower lashes. And you can totally leave it with just mascara, like if you're going to school or something like that. But I'm going to take these two pairs of Ardell lashes and stack them on top of each other. And then apply them like normal. And it's just that one pair is really dense and one pair is really long. And I wanted the best of both. So I stacked them. Next, I'm going to go back with my Real Techniques sponge with a little bit of foundation and remove all color from my lips. And then I'm going to take this NYX lip liner. This is in the color Peekaboo Neutral, which is perfect if you like to overline your lips. It's like the perfect color. And then for my lipstick, I'm taking this Milani color in Fruit Punch. It looks a lot brighter in real life than it does here on camera. And then I realized my lips were kind of dry because I didn't exfoliate them like I should have. So I'm going to use this Maybelline Baby Lips Gloss. This is like a peachy color. If you didn't know, I love these. Um, I don't like the original baby lips, but these are awesome. And that's it for this look. It is time to do something with this wild and crazy hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you recreate it, don't forget to tag me on Twitter or Instagram. All of that will be below. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.